Welcome back to From My Tiny Kitchen. Looking for Easter baking ideas? Why not try out this really cute bunny bottom cake with a buttercream carrot surprise when cut open? For the picket fence, roll out white ready to roll icing to about 5 mm thick, then cut out 2 cm strips. For an 8 inch cake, you would need at least 12 of these. After neatening out the bottom of the strips, cut out an arrow shape on the top of them. Lay out these strips on a flat surface to dry. If you notice that the strips are not as straight, leave for a few hours, then recut the strips to get that perfectly straight line. For the carrot leaves, which actually look like blades of grass, roll out green ready to roll icing to about 5 mm thick and then cut out. Leave these to dry on an uneven surface to create a wavy effect. If you don't have shaping foam, you can crumple up some baking paper for a similar look. Sandwich and cover two 8-inch chocolate cakes. The recipe I used is a delicious, moist and rich chocolate sponge used in my Ferrero Rocher drip cake video. I will leave a link in the description for you to check out. For the rails of the picket fence, cut out 2 cm strips of white ready to roll icing. Stick the rails onto the side of the cake by brushing on a small amount of water. And the same with the pickets. Colour about a cup of buttercream and then scrape out into a piping bag for use later. Make carrot shaped holes into the cake using a sharp knife dipped in hot water. And then fill with the orange coloured buttercream. Finally crush some Oreos in a zip top bag or a food mixer and then spread onto the cake. For the bunny bottom, roll out white ready to roll icing and slightly flatten. For the legs, lightly flatten two teardrop shapes. Add on the paw details using a small pinch of pink ready to roll icing. For the fluffy tail, lightly brush a ball of ready-to-roll icing with water and roll in desiccated coconut. Then assemble this cute little bunny onto the cake. Use a small amount of water to stick the legs onto the bunny body. Place on the carrot leaves into the buttercream carrots. And then finish off this cake by piping green buttercream with a grass tip nozzle around the base of the cake. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to check out some of these other videos. See you next time.